since the next major parts that I need to add to Musashi is the superstructure, I decided to go on ahead and add the propellers and rudders so I don't risk breaking any small pieces from the superstructure. Once when those were in place, it was time to start assembling the bodies of the superstructure, primarily the tower bridge, the aft superstructure, the funnel, and the mast. <laughs> Before I assemble the funnel, I noted that these vents didn't have the holes in them like they should, so I was going to press those in, and ultimately that's what I ended up doing for every single vent. Just to add that little bit of detail, it helps the funnel a lot. The next thing I decided to start working on was the anti-aircraft batteries, which of course I started with the largest of the batch, the 12.7cm Type 98 long-range anti-aircraft guns. Now Musashi only has 6 coaxial mountings, unlike Yamato which has 12. Now Musashi was supposed to have 12 as well, but due to time restrictions they were unable to be installed. At the stern of the vessel, on the starboard side, they had placed the two anti-aircraft mountings and the port was one. In reality, it should be two on port and one on starboard. But the biggest error that they made with the anti-aircraft guns is they'd placed most of them in an enclosed shielding. In reality, most of them were actually exposed on Musashi, which where there were 25 exposed mountings in reality, but the kit only includes 20, so some mountings I did have to place shields on just because I don't have additional 1350 scale 25mm guns. Once when the exposed mountings were in place, I went on ahead and placed shields on them, which I made using paper. With all the AA guns done, it was time to move back to the tower bridge, which ultimately is very simple to build, and as a whole, the company got the details correct. <laughs> Something I did hate a ton when I opened this kit though was the Type 21 radar nets. They're just massive blocks sitting on the rangefinder, so I did cut these off and I ended up replacing them with mesh. Do keep in mind that the rangefinder is not complete and I will be doing more details on it in the next video. With the Type 21 radar in place, it was time to go on ahead and start attaching the Type 22 Mod 4 radar, which much like the Type 21 was also connected for radar controlled fire. With the bulk of the tower bridge completed, I placed it on the superstructure, but more details will be added to it in the future. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If so, why not subscribe and leave a comment down below. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.